Hello shout out out there, today in this video I'm just going to be telling you guys out there about what I got to on my Thursday and my Friday. I hope you guys have all had a great week and that you're staying safe and that you've enjoyed what I've been up to to keep you sane. Watching Disney Plus, Disney Plus has come out now, I've been watching lots of that. Playing games, doing colouring, world such as going for a one full exercise, be that walking, jogging, Cycling, popping the shots, and just staying safe. I hope you are doing well. And I have just been watching lots of Disney Plus stuff on BBC Player and Netflix, and just drawing, colouring, and popping the shots if need be. Going for walks, getting lots of nature photography, and just enjoying the sunshine, and just trying to stay positive. It will be over by the start of June, all being well. They're going to be checking in three weeks' time to see if we can go back to a bit of normality. Hopefully we can. It's just very uncertain times, but we've just got to keep strong. I got up yesterday after a nice lion, and I had some cereal for my breakfast and sat outside in the sunshine with my book and a cup of tea, enjoying the beautiful sunshine. My dad was sorting out the sheds out in the garden and me and my mum and my older brother were watching a film called Here Comes the Boom and it's such a funny film and my older brother nicked my phone and decided it would be fun to hide it because he's a bonker and then managed to find that and I just went onto my Facebook, Twitter and Instagram so I don't care about following on social media or anything like that because it's just, it doesn't matter, it's out of your control and I just I'm just done with all that crap really and I watched some YouTube videos, some funny dog videos and some vines needed that to cheer me up because I was feeling a bit melancholy and my younger brother was at work younger sister is at her flat up in Cheltenham where she goes to uni and I FaceTimed her the other day to see how she's doing and my older sister is at hers and I actually saw her drive past me the other day as I was on my walk and she beeped at me and nearly gave me a heart attack so thanks for that sis and then I got myself ready and went for a massive walk yesterday just been doing lots of walks at went as we won for exercise and I got a load of nature snaps and a little selfie and I then went off to the shop and I got myself some chocolate and some Fanta and some other bits and bobs that we needed and some more Nutella and then I got back and went to the magazine that I got had a bit of my Fanta, wrote a bit of my journal, did some drawing and watched the Oscar soap and for my lunch I had cheese and pickle rolls and then my old brother was doing a box exercise circuit out in the garden and while he was doing that I was just sat on the exercise bike and I managed to lose weight which is good surprisingly seeing as I've not been doing much and I have just been trying to do as much walking as I can and just trying to eat as healthy as I can. The other day for tea we had sides and I ate my own sides. I did my tuna and Caesar salad with some cheese and lots of salad so that was really scrumptious. Lots of tomatoes, lots of lettuce, lots of cucumber don't really like tomatoes that much but I'm trying to eat them because it's healthy and you can treat yourself a bit so I haven't eaten all the chocolate I've got I'm, I, I'm a safe of chocolate so I eat a bit here and there quite a lot of the time I hide it away from my siblings in my office down in the hallway which I've shown you before toss off while I go to do my writing stuff and reading and draw it's a lot better now that it's cleared up most of the time I hide my chocolates there and I actually forget that I've actually hidden it so it's always a nice surprise when looking through my office to try to find a notebook or something and come across a chocolate that I didn't know that I'd had put there. And I watched The New Lady and the Tramp the other day. It's such a great film, it's a live action one. And the music in the film is so good. I've been listening to one of the songs for the film called Luna Lou. And it's just such a beautiful song. And I watched the soaps in the evening and can't wait for Tuesday's episode of EastEnders. It's going to be sad because it's Dennis' funeral but also we get a 
I Love You from the band to Callum, which I've been waiting for for so long now. Ever since Callum said he lo- loves Ben back last Christmas, and I've been wanting him to say it back, but he said in one of the episodes after the wedding stuff, just before the shooting, he said, I'm not going to be sincere, which is true, and he finds it hard because he loves Paul so much and he lost Paul because he's kind of put walls up around his heart but he's finally letting them down and he's letting Callum in and the, uh, there was an episode a few episodes ago where Callum and Ben argue and Ben breaks down in Callum's arm and Callum puts his hand on his head and they hug and Ben's nestled in and it's just so beautiful. I love them so much. It's just literally crazy how precious they are. And I just can't wait for the I Love You and all the like mushy, lovey dovey stuff to happen because I just love them so much. And Aaron's back in Emberdale. So happy to have him back. I love his and Liv's brother sister bond. And everything's all right with Paddy and Chad now. The social meeting went well because Paddy accidentally left the baby in the car when taking Marlon to the hospital after Marlon had a heart attack and that's all right now and then in Hollywood Liam's finally dead so glad he was such a vile creep and I wish that Adam and Jesse were still alive and not him because Adam and Jesse were so good so pure and then of course the bad one ends up staying for so long and I'm glad that Grace, James and Mercedes are fine and none of them got arrested so last night's episode ended on a happy note and they like just to go home live your life and work on being better people which is really good and Home and Away and Neighbours has been really good and yeah I just love the soap so much my dream job would be white creating and start in my own TV soap or comedy show, I just absolutely love it. And I then had a bottle of cereal and was watching some episodes of Friends and stuff off the cold and Beavis up there. And then went off to bed and I watched some episodes of Doctor Who on Beavis up there. Watched the first episodes of Doctor Who back after it was off air for a while, and it was the anniversary. 26th of March 2005 when it came back and loved it ever since. My mum got me into it and I've watched Old Who and New Who New. Who New Now? The, the, I can't speak. Old Who and New Who Now. So I, I'm i such a big Hubian. I love it. And my favourite doctor is probably David Tennant from my era or from the Old Who, probably the fourth doctor. Or the seventh doctor. I think the seventh doctor is very underrated because it had lost its popularity by then, unfortunately. But him and Ace were amazing together, and I really like his doctor. He was a lot darker, and I wasn't a fan of the ninth doctor. Don't hate me. I just found him too angry and stuff. Now watching it back, I like him a lot more than I first did. And I watched some of his Australian adventures and tortures as well, and Merlin. So it ended up being a bit of a sci fi marathon. Just love sci fi. A bit annoyed because I've got Netflix, but Katie Keane, Charmed, the week of week on CW, and Chicks Creek, and what was the other ones that aren't on there? So Katie Keane is it on Netflix. The Wizard of Fell. Neither is Shit's Creek, neither is Supernatural, neither is The Charmed Reboot on CW, and Good Trouble. So these five shows need to get on there soon. I think there is Shit's Creek, but it's not got the newest season yet. Season 6, the last one. I watched a few episodes of Katie Keane and a few episodes of Shit's Creek Season 6, and the first is Katie Keane online, and then the site that I was watching on stock working, but I still could. Oh, sorry, then my throat is a bit sore. I did. Woo! I did 
done. I hate that, you know, when you're like fruit. Please, a bit funny. I've got a bit of a gulp of my throat then. <laughs> I need to have a cup of first wake up tea in a minute. See if I just work it up to. It's all a bit crazy getting out now. What, what, uh, I don't know what is going on about now. My eyes are a bit sore. First thing, and your throat's always a bit croaky first thing, so that's why doing a vlog first thing probably isn't a good idea. And yeah. You get that with your 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 voice goes. I always get that sometimes. It's because I talk too much. That's my problem. And I, I hope those shows come on Netflix soon. And I watched new Sabrina. So we've got Sabrina and got Wayne and got the Crown. I watched the Crown. I'm on. Season 2, nearly season 3 out of 4 seasons. I hope there's a, a next season. I love the Royal Family. I love the history behind the Royal Family. And so I'm really enjoying the series The Crown. And I can't remember his last name now. But I know he's called Josh Bosa, whatever. He's such a great actor. And he plays Prince. Charles in the new series and he's just so gorgeous he was in God's Country which is a gay film and also the few other films that I've watched and he's in the new film I think it's Emma I think he's in that as well so I will I'm really looking forward to see how he portrays Charles and I love the way they play the characters the scenes the dresses the fashion i just love it it is such a good show and yeah i then did a bit of karaoke got a bit of sing song and listened to a bit of kylie and daigo and a bit of little mix their new song comes out today called heartbreak song i think or something about heartbreaks i'm so bad when it comes to names of people things and songs and yeah, I just love Little Mix so much. And uh, Alan Six album comes out soon. I'm looking forward to getting that. Love Little Mix, they've done so well. They are literally one of my favourite bands. Them and of course the Spice Girls always have a special place in my heart. Watched the Spice Girls movie the other day. I haven't watched that in so long. I love it, it's so good. And also last night I watched the Lizzie McGuire movie on Disney Plus and a few episodes of Lizzie McGuire. Apparently they were going to be doing a Lizzie McGuire spin-off of her as an adult, but I'm pretty sure it got canned, which is a shame. And also watched the rest of Recess and That's the Raven. And then today I got up and I had a nice fresh shower, just a bit of Robbie Williams, and I had some charm toast, a cup of tea, my hair has been crazy because I think it needs a bit of a trim, but because everything's shut, I can't. I mean, look at my beard. I'm going to become a like, crazy bearded man by the end of this. And I'm probably going to go for a little walk later on, and then for my lunch, I'm going to be having some baguettes or probably a pot noodle or something like that. Don't know yet. And then I'll have the Aussie soaps to watch. And my old brother went to the shop as only one person per family could go out to like a main shop. So he went off to get stuff for the shop. He got back and he's on his Xbox. My younger brother's at work. He works in Tesco's. Younger sister's at hers and older sister's at hers. And me and my mum watched a bit of Golden Girls and Friends and listened to a bit of the 80s and 90s music channels. My dad's out the Andrew doing a bit of DIY around the house. God knows what he's going to be doing. I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning and sounds going to be all different if we are this way. And I watched some episodes of some old child episodes that was on one of the music channels. And I love the old child. I wasn't so sure about the new child, but I absolutely love it. And I hope it comes on Netflix soon. I think it was on there, but they might have taken it off, which is a shame. So I watched some old episodes and the few tune was so good with the old charms. And I 
listen to a bit of Coldplay and Duran Duran, did some counting words, searches and some drawing, and then went on through the telephone from a doghouse out in the garden and started there and was just writing a bit of my new book project I'm working on. It's going really well, really enjoying that. And I listened to some music and then got myself ready and I went up and was sorting out my dog and dog. I did some dog and dog and boots and dog photography and painted my main project doll and I'm going to be sorting those out tomorrow. Missing morning group so much. I should have been at morning group this morning, but because of everything with the coronavirus and stuff, it's postponed to us for further notice. And I just can't wait to be going back to there and also going back to work. I miss it back already so much that I've already started having dreams about it. And I'm just like, I need to get back to work, which is, I just can't wait. And I am hopefully gonna ask if I can start trying to make some of the drinks and pull some of the pipes and stuff because you don't know you don't know if you don't ask and I want to try evolve and learn these things instead of just being full of health so who knows but yeah luckily I have a great staff and our group chat we're still staying in touch and I got I emailed them and got a form to fill out about pay while not working due to the virus so that's all being sorted out now and I just can't wait to start touch rugby in hopefully July time. Hopefully if all of this is going over by June time it should be good. And in the upcoming weeks in like April time I have like four or five family birthdays. It's my brother and sisters, my older sisters and my mum's and my grandma's. So there's gonna be a lot of FaceTiming to wish them all happy birthdays because unfortunately we can't all have we can't have big gatherings and they can't come down from from where they are and stuff which is kind of sad but in all this time we're going to be having a birthday party for my grandpa's 80th so we'll probably just have to celebrate then for my younger brother's sister's 21st and my old brother's 25th and grandpa's 80th it should be good. It's always good seeing all our family and friends. There's just so many of us. I always say we need name tags because I'm always there to my grandma like, who's that person or how are we related to that person? So she always uh, explains to us how we are related to them. So next time we need name tags, I think. And yeah, I'm now off to go and have my lunch and watch the Aussie Six and I'm probably going to go for a walk and enjoy this beautiful sunset as Unfortunately, on the news, it said it's going to get a lot chillier, so it will be back to wearing trackies and hoodies from then on. I've been wearing jumpers because the top half of me gets cold, but the bottom half gets warm for some reason. I've been wearing quarter lengths and a jumper. I just rolled up the sleeves, but I'm looking forward to it being a bit cooler because it's been quite hot at the moment. But it said it's going to be a bit chillier, but still say sunny so that should be good and yeah it feels a lot more like summer than early spring at the moment but yeah i hope you guys have all had a lovely week or have a lovely weekend ahead and i shall see you soon with a new vote coming very soon bye